Welcome to Ditch Auto. My name's Jared, and I wanted to give you an idea of what we're gonna be doing here in 2018. Now, I've been kind of quiet, I guess, the last couple of months, and last year was definitely a challenging year for me, both professionally and even just personally. Um, but last year, I definitely tried to do a couple of things. We did a half of a year doing a photo challenge, a weekly photo challenge, that really became challenging for me. I think uh, I lost a little bit of my desire for that project, and even though I really enjoyed seeing the work that everybody was producing, it was hard for me to give it my 100%. And so I ended it a little bit around the six month mark. Um, and then throughout the rest of the year, continued to produce some random here and there videos, but didn't really uh, have the, I don't know, maybe the word is mental capacity to really do a whole lot with it. Um, I was super involved the first half of the year in the, uh, in the Facebook group and in the course commenting and replying to people. And the second half of the year just was really challenging to, um, to stay up on that. And uh, you know, I'm not gonna go super into detail, but the last couple of months have just been really good. I've felt great. Um, I've had a renewed desire for a lot of different things, hobbies and stuff that I enjoy. Um, it's just, I, I don't know if it was uh, kind of getting to the end of last year and I thought to myself, wow, I kind of let myself get in a little bit of a funk. And now that I've pulled myself out of that and been out of that for a couple of months, um, I've been working on new projects and new things, trying to get some of that excitement back that I always have had for photography and video production, but seem to be lacking uh, most of last year, I guess you could say. So this year, we're going to be doing some cool things. I have some plans to revamp some of the stuff that I've currently put out such as the Ditch Auto course in general. It is old. I mean, in the video, it doesn't seem too old because, you know, I was shooting, I think, with a Canon 5D Mark III at that time, but that was like right after I got the 5D Mark III. I mean, I've had so much life happen since that video came out, and I've, I haven't changed too much about the way that I shoot or the way that I talk about photography or manual photography but it's time that I refresh that. It's time that I even take some of the feedback that I've received from so many people that have taken the course, feedback that I asked for, that they have willingly given me, which is awesome, um, and apply that to the course and just refine it and reproduce it and come out with a version two. It's time that that happened. And I've started on this several times, but I failed to complete it just because of being too busy with work, not having maybe necessarily the mental capacity to finish it, um, and then after a while, what I had started just didn't feel, you know, cohesive anymore. And so I end up scrapping it. So this year that will happen and it will happen soon. I also have some plans for some more content to put out. I've been shooting a lot of, uh, I, I mean, when I filmed this video, I was shooting predominantly weddings. Uh, but since then, I've been doing a lot of commercial shooting, product photography. Uh, I've kind of shifted gears. I still do a few weddings here and there, but I'm, I'm doing a much wider gamut of photography. Uh, you know, I've been shooting um, NASCAR races for a couple of years, um, you know, a couple times a year, uh, and just doing a lot of traveling too. And so I have a lot more to bring to the table now, and I really want to revise the course because of that. Um, some of the other courses that I put out that are just little mini courses, um, I'm probably going to get rid of a few of those and combine a couple of them and refilm them. You know, there's new versions of Lightroom and Photoshop, and there's you know more current ways that I'm producing photos or uh, post-producing photos. Um, so there's things that I just want to bring out and and share with everybody. Um, not keep it in, uh, which I've never been the type of person to like, hold in all my methods. Um, not that my methods are perfect, but I do like to share them. It's just that for a while now, it's been challenging for me to have that energy. And uh, I've started the year off and even the end of last year, just really strong, completing some other projects that have given me just a, a boost, not only of just um, self-esteem and confidence, but just in my ability to achieve when I really, really want to. And um, so the the second half of this video, I just wanna talk about the kind of crutch that a lot of us or the ruts that a lot of us as photographers will get into. And it, it mainly has to do with just the creative process. I mean, when you first get your camera and everything's new, you're going out and shooting all the time, 
I mean, this was one of the reasons that I wanted to do that photo challenge last year. I wanted to get out and shoot more. And while I did get out and shoot more, I felt that at a certain point I had, I wasn't doing it for the right reasons anymore. I was just going out and shooting and trying to, um, you know, get as many uh, of a different type of photo as I could and, and I wasn't enjoying it. And I really need to get to that point where I'm enjoying it. Um, but we get in our heads, we start to, you know, only take our cameras out when it's important or when we know the situation is going to be great. We're not just carrying around our camera hoping for a good opportunity like we used to. You know, I, I carry my camera with me every single day. My camera is with me and I still, you know, a, a month will go by. This is last year. A month would go by and I didn't use my camera, I, even though I had it with me. And so it just becomes a challenge uh, because we get stuck in that rut. Um, whether you're doing photography uh, just as a hobby and for fun or as a profession, we all get to that certain place where the camera doesn't get taken everywhere or it doesn't get pulled out or we see an opportunity and we're like, oh, I don't have the time for that. These are all things we wouldn't have passed up at all when we first started. And so the challenge is, of course, getting that vigor back. And the only real way to do that is to get your camera out and try some new things. And though that's what I was trying to achieve with the photo challenge last year, it was really hard and challenging for me to do a weekly one. So even though we're like January is over and we're heading into February, what I'm going to do is put out a challenge video once a month. I think that is something that will be much easier for us all to adhere to. The weekly challenges I even heard from a lot of people in the Facebook group were challenging to keep up with just because there are so many of them. So I want to do a monthly challenge, which gives us a lot more time to, uh, to plan something to go out and shoot whatever that challenge is. Um, and the challenge isn't necessarily going to be it's going to be like last year's challenge, essentially. It's not hard and fast. I mean, it's hard and fast. You're not locked down to this exact thing, and we're not judging them. But some of the exciting things that I was working on for last year's challenge that didn't end up uh, coming to fruition until well after the challenge was over is having some items to give away and definitely doing some fun things uh, where, you know, I have some awards for, for some of you that are participating in this. Um, I've, I have some of those things uh, ready and I just have to pull the trigger on them. And I want to be able to do that and give uh, something physical, tangible to some of you out there that are taking part in these challenges. So through the rest of this year, we're going to do a monthly challenge, which will be much easier for me just on the workload level and much easier for most of you as you all have busy lives as well. Uh, and then there's also going to be, like I said, the revised uh, Ditch Auto course, which will, uh, for those of you who are still um, on that path of understanding how to use manual mode completely, um, retaking the course is definitely going to be something that will re-energize and want to get you out there trying new things and just expanding your knowledge and getting faster at using your camera in manual mode. Um, and I'm also going to do some challenges and some different kind of interactive things with that. I'm going to try and do some live streaming this year where I'm actually live streaming some of the things that I'm out shooting, whether uh, it's for a client, if I have their permission, or just going out and shooting for the, for the fun of it and live streaming the process. I want to do that because um, one of the things that I found really challenging with photography education is that uh, everything's edited, everything is the way that it is. Um, they don't really leave a whole lot of room for situational stuff, things that happen. It's, it's A and B, here's how you do A and B, and it should equal C. And then you go out in the real world and it just, it just doesn't happen that way. Things change. The lighting situation changes. The the tools that you said, this is what it's going to take to get this shot, aren't working because of whatever the scenario is. Those are all things that we have to be prepared for when we're going out to try and, and shoot something. So this year is going to be really interesting. I'm definitely going to be throwing a lot of things at the wall to see what sticks. 
But the thing is, is I'm gonna be throwing things at the wall to see what sticks. I'm not gonna let time get away from me like I did last year. Uh, and, and I could even say, because of what I wanted to do after originally launching Ditch Auto, I've kind of let several years get away from me as far as you know what I want, wanted to do originally with Ditch Auto. So in this really lengthy video that's now over 10 minutes long, what I really uh, wanted to say is two different things. One is here's what we're doing in Ditch Auto in 2018, which I've kind of bleh out to all of you in the last 10 minutes. And then the second part of that is that we get in ruts, we get stuck, we get busy, uh, time goes by, our time shifts to different things, and how do we get out of that rut? How do we start shooting again? How do we get that excitement back? And even how do we find situations that are just fun and exciting to go and shoot? Like last year, I went and shot the Eclipse uh, up in Oregon. I drove uh, 13 hours, 13 and a half hours, and then like 20 something hours home um, to go and shoot the Eclipse, and it was fantastic. And I need to do more things like that. Uh, and then, I, of course, with those situations, I need to bring you guys along with me because they're fantastic experiences that when um, when I'm able to document them, when I'm able to come back and share them, it inspires all of us. I mean, the reason that I was inspired to go and do it in the first place is because, uh, you know, some other photographers that I know were going and doing other things throughout the year. And I thought, you know what? I am not going to pass up this opportunity. And I pulled the trigger and made it happen. So that's what I want this year to be about. That's kind of what I want the rest of my life to be about. But 2018 indeed is going to be a year of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. And I encourage those of you who uh, want to come along for the ride, there will be educational value there. There will be, you know, me trying new products, uh, reviewing them, talking about them, talking about my creative process and all of that stuff. And then even probably sharing some of what I've been able to learn from other people as I am always learning, always trying new things and learning. And very rare is it something that I inspired myself or that I came up with myself. It's something I may have seen and uh, I like that piece of that and I'm going to try and figure out how that works with what I do. Um, it's never copying somebody else's method, but it's figuring out what works best for the way my mind works, the way my eyes see things, the way I best can utilize my equipment. Um, and I think that's what photography is all about. It's figuring out how do these tools fit within uh, our individual um, selves and how do we uh, how do we capture what's in front of us? Um, how do we you know use these tools and use our inspiration and what our eyes see to produce great images? And that's what I want to do this year and bring all of you along and share in that in the Facebook group with you. So if you have not joined us in the Facebook group, link is in the description below. Head on over, join the Facebook group. It's free. There's no strings. Just come in, talk photography with a bunch of friends, share life, and just enjoy taking pictures and, and learning from each other is, is what's happening. Um, there's some fantastic people in the group sharing some fantastic images, even though you know, half of last year or so, maybe even a little bit longer, I've been semi-absent, just kind of dipping in every now and then. But I'm going to be in there much more often, doing a lot more uh, things, especially with this monthly challenge. So look forward to a new video coming soon. We're going to talk about that challenge for February. Um, if you're brand new to Ditch Auto, make sure to click that subscribe button because 2018 is going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited and I'm just glad to be here with all the rest of you who have stuck around and been part of Ditch Auto or those of you who are brand new to Ditch Auto. Thanks so much for checking out this video and hope to see you in the Facebook group and in the next video here on the YouTube channel.